What racist things do I do, and why don't you correct me? Racist thing? I mean... I mean, I don't, I don't think you do racist things. What things do I make you feel uncomfortable about your race? <sighs> Nothing. I mean, you don't beat me like the police. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, racist thing. I don't know. Everyone's a little bit racist. Yeah, I agree with sure. that. I've kind of learned that from you. I didn't, when you, first time you said that, I was like, that's ridiculous, but I, I like, totally believe that now. Yeah. I can't take, I mean, that's an Avenue Q song. Well, no, from yeah, a musical. I, I, But yeah, no, but it's really one of those things, just like, sometimes the little, those little quicks, whips, or something that you're just not culturally aware, mm -hmm. people say all the time, like, and it's fine, to a certain extent, you know, it's fine, um, because not everyone can be versed in everyone's culture. Yeah. Like, period. But for the most part, you're pretty good. I mean, you're just really dry. So like sometimes you'll ask questions like, well, why are you taking, like, I don't understand why it takes you eight hours to get twists in your hair. Mm -hmm. But you'll say it like that, not in like... Not in like a ridiculing way. Ridiculing way. way. You're just like, I just don't understand. Like, Even though like, I intend it in the ridiculing way, it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off. It's yeah, it's just, you're so one note that I just think that's just... Yeah, that's fine. So, that's good to know. luckily, your racism is masked by your monotone <laughs> voice. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think as our friendship has grown, I've been, like, quote-unquote, educating you. Mm -hmm. Or, like, talking to you more about it. Because it's just like, you're in this now. Like, I gotta, I gotta sh like, sharpen you up a little bit. And yeah. I think, and I think we talked about this before, but it's just like, when it comes to friendships or... Um, relationships of any sort, you have to start having this dialogue. Mm -hmm. Your cultural differences, your personal differences, like, start talking about it. It doesn't start from, like, political protests or, like, I mean, Facebook that's... hashtags or whatever. It starts from you having a conversation with your friends about it, your immediate mm -hmm. circle about it. Start feeling really comfortable, like, explaining your culture, talking about your differences, you know, and it could just be that. It could just be a difference that nobody ever talked about. Like, you just talk about them. Yeah. You know, and that's how you get education out there. That's how you make a difference. But, like, anytime you have something to say like that, I usually kind of correct you in the moment. Like, yeah. It takes eight hours because I want to look damn good. And I have a lot of little things in my hair. You know? <laughs> but whenever I'm, like, explaining something culturally, you always have, like, this intent. Even, like, right now. Yeah. Like, we are talking about attraction earlier. just like, whatever. And, like, now I'm explaining parts of my, you know, cultural differences. And you're like, let me actually listen. Mm -hmm. So, if people could just do that. <laughs> oh. like, you would appreciate that. I would appreciate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's actually... Take a moment to listen. Yeah. Boom, done. What if solve racism? <laughs> I'm Boom. Sure. Yeah. What if like, like what if you're like my token black friend though? Like, what is is that like? What it, like what does that mean to you? I think. I mean, I think I yeah, am, right? I don't. I yes. mean, but like, I don't. I don't like that label, so to speak, or something. But well, I mean, you have to have more, you have to have more black than <laughs> what I think what happened mm -hmm. with my introduction became other introductions, right? Yeah. Uh, even if you think of our web series, you kind of talked about it earlier. It's just like, I would have thought to go this route with it, or even the voiceover that just happened, like, that's how you become more culturally diverse. Mm -hmm. Because you have to insert, quote, a token in there to kind of pave a way for other cultural um, dynamics to come into play. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Anne and Justin now. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. I would consider them my friends. You I'm consider not, them your friends. I'm not, like, best friends with them or something. No, they're definitely your friends. Yeah, Anne loves you. <laughs> but, but that, I mean, I don't... I, I get kind of angry at the notion that, like, you would be, like, just a friend of mine that I have just because of, like, your skin color mm -hmm. or something like that, you know? Like, that would, like, that makes me really... That like frustrates me a lot to think that like it would be that simple or like yeah. it would be like that superficial of a qualifier that would like cause friendship to become valid or like yeah. valuable to me or something. That's not that's not it at all.